Hey guys, has that client attraction process ever felt mysterious? I mean, when I first started my business, I thought, how does one even get started? It doesn't even matter if you're building your business online or offline, but how do we get started? It's so confusing. There's so many pieces to put into place. So what I want to do today is break down those four things that you need to have in place to get that client creation process on the move. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, my name is Coach Misty, and I am a transformational business coach, which means I help entrepreneurs just like you, coaches, healers, consultants. I help you take your big, beautiful purpose and create real and lasting income from it. And Today we're talking about the client creation process because it can feel mysterious and I'm here to demystify that client creation process for you. So it's basically four steps and those four steps are a continuous circle, which makes this even easier because if you get each step right, it just starts to feed itself and this beautiful momentum starts to build. So use this big marker is a tract. Okay, I'm not sure you can see, but there you go. Step one, attract, right? This is marketing. This is, and in some cases, this is actually sales also. But in most cases, this is marketing. This is you sharing your message. You sharing your big, beautiful purpose with the world. You sharing why you know you have to help a certain group of people through a certain thing over and over and over again because it feeds your soul, okay? This is where you talk about how you help people, what you do, all of those beautiful things, okay? And again, I'm gonna share with you these four steps that I think that are the keys to creating a powerful coaching practice um, or consulting or healing practice. But um, like I said, these can be used for online or offline. These four steps still have to happen, okay? It doesn't matter. This is strong business foundation stuff. I'm not teaching you to like fly by to the seat of your pants, make $2 in a day, okay? Or make thousand dollars in a day just run away from your business okay these are like real strategies so step two part of the circle is to engage my rating isn't that great but this says engage okay the, the idea here is that in step one you're attracting people to you to your stuff to your world Okay, wherever that primary place you set up is. That could be your primary place could be on YouTube. Your primary place could be on Instagram. Your primary place could be on Facebook. Your primary place could be your place of business, your actual office or your website. Doesn't matter, okay? Wherever you're sh showing up primarily in the world, okay? <laughs> That's where you're attracting people to, all right? Once you get them there, you want them to engage. Engage with your beliefs. The, the activities you want them to do, the thoughts that you want them to think, the things, the, the, the strong beliefs you have in the world that you share and hopefully get people to interact with. That's the engagement process. So in the real world, Attraction is the marketing stuff, okay? This is what I do. These are Facebook posts. These are um, Facebook Lives. These are Instagram posts. These are the things that you do every day that take, you know, two minutes or less for the average person, your average ideal client, to ingest, okay? It's just a quick little hit with you. That's the attraction phase, all right? The engagement phase is taking it to the next level, bringing them into your world and getting them to engage with your content and interact with it on a deeper level. So this is anything that's usually 15 minutes to an hour of time with you. And this could be a challenge. This could be a Facebook Live series or a YouTube series. This could be um, discovery calls with you. This could be events you put on. These could be, there's all endless the webinars. This could be, there's endless things in which you, endless strategic ideas by which you can get people to engage with your content, okay? So the first stage is to attract them. Next step is to get them to engage with your stuff. If they don't engage with your stuff and find out more about how you can help them, it makes it darn near impossible to get to the third stage which is the client creation stage, okay? This is where you take someone who's, this is how you go from likes to clients. I get asked this question all the time. How do I go from likes to clients? How do I do it? How do I do it? 
How do I go from a Facebook friend to an actual client? How do I go from an Instagram like to an actual client? These are the stages, okay? So if you can't go from attract to client, I don't know if you've heard this analogy before, but that's like trying to sleep with someone on the first date if you don't know each other very well and you're not sure if the other person's interested, okay? So if you try to rush the relationship too much, you'll never get to the client phase. There has to be this engagement spot here in the middle where people are finding out what you're about and if you can help them in the real world, okay? So attract first. Get engagement second, get them to engage with your stuff, interact with your stuff. This could also be called the interaction phase, really. Um, now, third spot is to turn them into clients, okay? This is where the impact and the income really dial up, obviously, in the client phase. The people get more impact from your work if they're actually clients. That will always be true, all right? And then the last stage is, oops, amazing results and I don't mean like little results I mean real real results where people are like holy crap I can't believe we did that that was amazing I can't believe I made my way through that if you can get your clients amazing results again and again and again they begin to attract people for you and this circle continues and continues and continues it's beautiful right so not only do you have you out there attracting people, other people are helping you too because you've helped them so much. Think about a time in your life when a business has really helped you or a person who was a business, like a service provider like you or me, right? Think of a time when someone or a business really helped you through something. The business really showed up. Maybe they did something special for you. Weren't you able, like, don't you want to shout them across the rooftops because somebody actually did something amazing? We hear about problem businesses all the time. When someone gets amazing results, they want to talk about it to other people because most of the time that doesn't happen. Okay? So these are, this is the marketing, <laughs> this is the client attraction process demystified, okay? And I mean, I'm being silly a little bit because of my name, but in fact, it's true. This is a very simplified version of it. It is simple. I will caution you many times, there because there are so many tech companies out there, they wanna sell you technology to make all of this easier and take all of your problems away, and I will caution you against doing that, okay? You don't need a bunch of tech. I've built my business so far with <laughs> Very few tech pieces. I have MailChimp and I have Acuity as my scheduler, okay? You don't need a lot of tech. You just need to continue this process again and again and again, okay? This is how it works every time. Very simple. Attract. Bring people into your world. Tell them what you're about. Now, I'll talk about this in another video as well and I'll get a lot more specific, but in here... These are two of the main layers of content. There are three, in my world, there are three main pieces of content. One, the everyday stuff that's, you know, with you five minutes or less. I call that level one content, right? That's the attraction phase. It's marketing stuff. Your regular content you're pushing out. The regular videos you're doing every week, all that fun stuff, okay? That's your base content that lets people know you exist in the world and how you help. This is the second layer of content. I'm gonna do a diagram about this. This is just the, my, uh, my visual right now here at the moment. But there's a second layer of content, which is this more engaged level of content, which is anything that's, like I said before, these are challenges, eBooks, um, che checklists, free any, any freebie or opt-in you're doing, webinars, anything where people are getting a feel for your beliefs in the world how what you think is possible for them and actually engaging with it so um that's that second layer of content the third layer of content are these like really big um visibility projects like summits and full books and all these like really big <laughs> huge events weekend long events that's the third level of content so it it just is another way to talk about how people engage with us and what that does to serve our business. So in this second level, attract phase, we're doing that main everyday content creation stuff that just 
helps people know we're out there and what our brand is all about. The next level in the engagement phase is this second level of content. This like these more engaging things that people can interact with us. Um, usually still free. Sometimes these are low cost on the second level. Um, but really great way to add value to people's lives, show them what you're all about, and get them to engage with your stuff so they can kind of test you out. Okay? So those are the four stages, right? That is client attraction. The four stages of client attraction demystified just for you. <laughs> All right, like I said before, if you have any questions, or actually what I do want to know, I have a question for you. Which one of these stages do you feel the strongest in? And which one of these phases do you think you need support? I mean, more information, a better understanding, whatever it is. Which one of these? For me, I'm, I, I was, I've always been really good at the attraction stage. For a while, I wasn't great at the engagement stage. So I tried to take people from attraction to client really quickly. And I have to tell you, it doesn't work, okay? Because I tried it a whole lot. <laughs> it does not work. They need to engage anymore because people want to trust you. They want to understand what you're about. They need to feel into you a little, into your work some to get a feel for it, okay? So... Which one of these do you feel strong at? And which one of these do you feel less strong at? Please put it in the comments box below. I would love to hear. That's actually really valuable information. And um, it's good for you, to, for you to know as well so that you can take moves in the direction that you need to make yourself stronger. Okay, so just do a quick check-in. Which one feels strongest? Which one feels weakest? Let me know in the comment box below. If you found this to be helpful at all, also give me a thumbs up and ding that bell. <laughs> also hit the subscribe button. Hit all the buttons that are down there. There are so many. <laughs> um, also, just so you know, I do have a free gift for you today. It is called the Momentum Machine. I know that in this attraction phase and in this engagement phase, it can feel a little frustrating. It can feel slow sometimes. So I created the Momentum Machine, which is 30, yes, I said three, zero, 30 ways for you to dial up the momentum in your business and get your client attractor on the move. <laughs> you can find that free gift in the link below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will see you.